Richie, thanks for joining us. She came so close to ending Barnsley's unbeaten run on the road. Yeah, I thought it was a, a really good performance. I thought it was a good game, two good teams. <clears throat> um, I think that both teams found it difficult to get the ball back off each other, unless it was a mistake. Um, you know, the goal's disappointing, it's a worldy strike, but we know that their eights cheat, so when we're attacking, we know that they're, they're slow to recover and, and it can be a threat if the ball turns over and it's turned over to him, there's been a little ricochet in the middle of the pitch, but then it's you know, it's a great reverse pass into him, good touch, nice step back and then it's a, it's a great finish, so I think all in all, I think we deserve the three points. I think you all have to look at the, the feel at the end of the game, they're delighted with a point and we're, and we're gutted with a point, so... Shows how, how far we've come. I think they're a good team. They'll be right in and amongst it. But tactically, um, athletic-wise, quality-wise, I thought we was definitely. I thought we was better than at times. The Barnsley manager Neil Collins is very disappointed with the penalty decision. How did you see it? I've not seen it back. Um, I thought it was harsh at the time, but I've not seen it back. So we usually that it was a bit of a shock when he. I thought he was good defending and it went for a, for a goal kick. Um, so maybe it was a bit harsh. I've not seen it back, so I won't comment. But we've probably due one. We've had probably six penalties, blatant penalties this year, and we've not had one. So it's says law that you get one that you probably don't deserve. But, um, you know, I think we was knocking on the door. There was a lot of opportunities. I thought first half was excellent. They come out first 10 minutes of the second half and was very, very good. But I think after that, we, 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 was, we was dominant. The amount of crosses, the amount of penalty box entries that we got. Um, we just have to move with the ball better. We have to shift better. And we have to get on the end of ricochets. We can't always get the first contact in when, when crosses are coming in, but it's important that you check and you react. You do counter runs, so then you can get the second phase of play. There's too many balls bouncing in the box. And if we if we want to escalate ourselves and get to the top end of this division, then we need to score more goals. <clears throat> Brendan Cooper was named man of the match. He had some competition, didn't he? He was excellent. Blocks, desire. Um, no, but I thought it was a lot of... The way we moved the ball at times was, was very, very good. We caused them especially their two midfield players, we caused them a lot of problems in, in the first half, deciding who to jump, whether it was the outside centre-back or the wing-back, and we're getting a lot of a lot of time. We just slide people, we're just aware of that pass. You know, I think we can score four or five today, but we're not, we, we don't quite see that pass, we concentrate on this pass, and because we don't see it, it becomes a difficult, more difficult chance. Ethan Galbraith should be slid in twice today. Um, Ruel should be slid in by Jordan Graham first half. So loads and loads of positives, and I think it's a... It's a it's um, just a measure of, of how far we've come in terms of the disappointment in not winning. Joe Piggott took that spot kick well. I thought Pig's first half was excellent. Second half, he was good, but then he just needs to, need to be more reliable. It just broke down on him a few occasions. And when it breaks down on him, it's in a da- pretty dangerous area where they can, they can react and counter-attack on us. So I thought he was excellent. We're obviously aware that we've got a game Tuesday. So we, we needed to freshen up and I think that when Driz comes on and, and Shaq, they do give us extra legs. I do think that uh, the amount of times we have 2v2 on the counter, we, we just need to, to make it pay. So um, I thought Pigs was good as well. Any injuries picked up before that game at Northampton? No. Uh, any injuries? No, just a Tom James and Ed Turns reported in yesterday um, ill, so they didn't train yesterday. It meant that Hunty went in at left centre-back. I thought Hunty was excellent. Um, and it's just a question of the, the same injuries. Omar Beckles, Pratt's, Max Sanders, and then obviously the long-term lads, Dan Adji and, and Adam Thompson. So um, it'll be more or less the same squad, hopefully. TJ and Ed will be OK, so they come back into the, into the my thinking, starting 11. And your thoughts ahead for that away game? It's back-to-back away games now, isn't it, Northampton and Burton? Yeah, Burton have picked up. Um, I think they, they've struggled at the start of the season because they had no strikers fit. Um, I think whenever anybody ever goes there, it's a difficult game, difficult environment. Um, and Northampton you know, came up with us last year started the season OK so two difficult away games but again we just, we're just we more than a match of any, for anyone we're, we're in good form we move the ball very very slickly some of our patterns are really really good so we've got nothing to fear we just need to c- continue improving and get that last little bit so it, we score more goals our stats in terms of the final pass the crosses are better which then will accumulate in more points and more goals for, for the players up front what about the pitch? It's showing the investment. It's played very well despite all the rain. Yeah, I mean, the game's called off today, I think, with the weather and what have you. I've seen it at Rotherham and Ipswich has called off last night, but you know, the pitch is, is tremendous. Um, so it, it, was, it was well worth the money spent on it. It's, you know, it, it also 
make means that we can play at a faster tempo and we can and we can use it. I think it's an excellent pitch. International weekend and it was a good atmosphere for those overseas supporters, wasn't it? Yeah, it's important when we do have these kind of days that we do put a product on the pitch that people come and enjoy the day and and want to come again or whether they whether they go back to their home nation and, and obviously follow us and I follow. So I think it's important. I think the atmosphere in the ground was good. Obviously the Barnsley fun, fans were good as well. I thought it was a good game. Two good two good game two good teams. Hammer and Tong got it. At times I didn't mind it being a bit fronted end to end because I thought we had legs in midfield that can that can that can do that. Um I'm just disappointed that we didn't make the, the last pass count in often enough because I think we should have won the game. And finally, for me, uh, Richie, there was the saddest news regarding Sir Bobby Charlton, uh, somebody that was a true great and somebody that was loved by everybody. Yeah, I mean, he's a legend of the game. You speak, let people go about world-class players and legends of the game now, um, and they say it sparingly, but won the World Cup, won the, won the European Cup with Man United, was going to win more European Cups with the, with the Busby Babes. Um, he survived that, and then obviously to Matt Busby, reinvented the club and went on it to, to win it six, uh, 10 years later um, legend of the club he obviously was there when, when, when I was a player um, and I think he was a really good sounding board and somebody who Sir Alex Ferguson could trust so a true legend of the game my condolences from, from all the, to all the Man United family all, all Bobby's family and, and his friends you know, the condolences from everyone at Leighton Orient go, go to him and, and his family and friends